welcome to my channel and i've got something really exciting to show you today that's arrived oh sorry about the glare this is a, a barbie pink collection now this is the first one i've owned now i did mention these pink collection dolls in my last doll diary video and i showed you doll zero doll one and doll two hopefully i got them in the right order I don't own them. I just showed you photographs that I found. Well, this is doll number three. It's the most recent one. And this is the one I've ordered. Now, I have admired this doll from afar. Well, very afar, right? <laughs> because I spotted her on the Mattel Creations website, which is in America and I'm in the UK. So I had a look at her and I had a look at the price and I did think, oh gosh, and then I don't know how much it's going to end up with, with, you know, the change of currency and shipping. And then I decided against it. And I, um, and I ended up ordering the Vera Wang doll from them instead because the Vera Wang doll was cheaper. And actually it wasn't, um, it did, well, it did add quite a bit to the Vera Wang price tag getting it shipped to the UK. So I don't know what I would have ended up paying if I'd had to get this from the USA, but I managed to find it in a toy shop, quite a famous toy shop actually, Hamley's London. And I've actually just posted a photograph of myself holding this box on Instagram. And um, and actually I should have tagged Hamley's actually, because that's where I bought it from. Maybe I'll actually tag them when I get off this video but in this video I am going to unbox her now I'll tell you a little bit about her now what I liked about her is that I liked well this is when I was on a search for a mini me a, you know a miniature Barbie version of me and I was really struggling to get something at the time that's when I was first looking at her and what I liked about her is that she was tan she had a bit of a tan she had a hair curly now I know my hair well my hair looks like this today because I went to bed with a plait and then I've uh, I've woke up and I've brushed it and I've let it out but I do often wear my hair curly and she's got dark eyes now she's actually the first doll I found with dark eyes but I chose not to purchase her for the reasons that I said to you before and then I went on another venture trying to find other ones but when I saw that she was available in a toy shop in London online then I thought right that doll is mine <laughs> And here she is. Now, what I can say about her is she's the Barbie Pink Collection Doll 3. She's a signature Barbie. If you order from Mattel Creations, you're limited to three per customer. Sorry, I'll take that glare away. And she's uh, she's in a stunning dress where classic Barbie glamour meets on-trend fashions. She's the third doll in the collection and, uh, and she's, in radi she's radiant in ruffles. I'm just reading what it says on the website um her ch uh, ch uh, chic, chic red carpet ready look features pink chiffon in a modern elegant sorry i'm losing my spot here silhouette with a full skirt and ruffle details her top knot hairstyle is framed by flowing curls in her silvery rhinestone top drop earrings a hint for a hint of drama look closely for a glimpse of her strappy high heels complete with ruffle details with a silk stone uh, body and pre and premium it says and then a comma some uh display i don't think they meant to put the comma there premium display packaging yeah they put a comma that probably shouldn't have been there this bold collaboration of barbie doll signature color makes the perfect gift for collectors includes a doll stand certificate of authentic authenticity I'm, I'm terrible at reading as my regular viewers all know i never claim to be the best at reading and uh, the doll can't stand alone colors and decorations may vary her release date was the 3rd of the 9th 2022 well in all honesty 
and gone. That's sorry, that's really messed with my head. What it is in the UK, we always say the day of the month first, then the month, then the year. Because I was just about to say, I didn't know she came out September. I was thinking the 3rd of September. That would have been quite funny if it had been the 10th, the 3rd of um, October, the 10th month, because that would have been my birthday. So it would have been so meant to be. But as it happens, it wasn't the 3rd of September it was actually the 9th of March 2022. So we're actually the beginning of June, near the start of June. So she hasn't been out very long. And because I was going to say, I didn't know she came out that late, which is September, she hasn't. So yeah, it, it does confuse with my head sometimes, this, um, how different we do things from the US to the UK. Uh, the designer is Robert Best. I'm going to try and find Robert Best on social media actually maybe on it see if he's on instagram or anything and so i can follow his work uh, it's a gold label it's a brand new face sculpt so if you know your bar barbie related things now actually gina you was asking me about barbie and you was asking me if the different barbies that don't look like traditional barbies um if they have different names now generally what it is barbie is a brand and they they're generally all called barbie dolls so this girl as far as i know she hasn't been given a name as such um or the others but if you say you've got a doll that's on the tv series for example let me just grab one here oh gosh this is a bad example actually now this girl now barbie is called barbie roberts that is her name it's the blue the blue eyed blonde haired barbie that we know but this barbie is also she's called barbie roberts now she is barbie roberts that is from brooklyn and blue-eyed blonde-haired barbie have i got one here sitting here i've got her here actually she is from uh, well she wasn't born in malibu but she lives in malibu so she's nicknamed malibu barbie so we've got malibu barbie and brooklyn barbie and they are both friends so in this instance their proper names are barbie and i'll just pop them over there but you will get, and um and this is skipper barbie's sister right so some of them have got names but generally they don't like for example now this is a doll i bought in very good condition i've been dying to show you um it's second hand actually and she is a curvy tanned girl with kind of a strawberry blonde hair with brown eyes and a very cheeky smile now i just loved the look of this doll and i was itching to get her but i couldn't get her brand new not not here anyway i don't know if i saw her on any other country's website either but yeah i managed to pick her up second hand she wasn't the only one on ebay but this was the one i went for because she had there was another one that was a bit cheaper but she didn't have the right colour shoes. That this she's got the right outfit on, uh, with the hairband and everything. Well, she is um she hasn't got a name. She's a Barbie, but she doesn't have a name. Uh, what what else? And oh gosh, I'm, all the ones that I I'm, I can see that I can grab have got names. Like for example, v, I've got Vera here. Now this is she's a Barbie doll. She's called Vera Wang because this Barbie is based on, well, basically the bar Vera Wang Barbie, who is a fashion designer. She's a designer of, um, she started out in bridal wear, but she has got other clothes lines. But yeah, so some of them have names, but generally they're just called Barbie dolls. It doesn't matter what skin tone, what eye colour, they are Barbies. So it's up to you really if you want to give your Barbie a name. You can call them whatever you want, can't you, at the end of the day. So yes, yeah, so this girl doesn't have a name, but she has got a brand new face sculpt and her body type apparently is Model Muse and it says in brackets, silk, sco silk stone, I said scone. <laughs> 
<laughs> silk stone. Now, I don't know if I have um, a silk stone Barbie. I don't think I own one. I know silk stone Barbies they have a very different face. They're kind of like a vintage look about them. Very beautiful dolls. I don't own one. And the model muse. So, yeah other barbie people probably know a bit more what it means now i do know this body i don't think it's, it's going to it's going to have very limited articulation from what i believe um so yeah so what, what i'm going to unbox her so you're going to get to see now i must admit when this doll arrived i did think do i want to remove this doll from the box because she just looks absolutely stunning in the box maybe i'll try and put her back in i don't know i don't know what i'm i don't know what my final plan with her in an ideal world i think i'd really like one to stay in the box and one to get out and play with but i'm not going to be getting two of them so yes yeah, so this one is going to have to come out of the box now this is the back and it's got a lovely picture of her in like um you know a bit like an animation look about her and it says now a lot of the um don't freak out i'm not going to read all of this because it's foreign writing but um it's in the first bit it says doll barbie pink collection is a stunning series inspired by classic barbie glamour on trend fashions and a tribute to her iconic signature colour. So it basically they're all about the pink, the pink dolls basically. Now there is uh, so a YouTuber, a foreign YouTuber, um, speaking about this doll. She was doing an unboxing. Um, she didn't do a proper unboxing. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube. Um, I haven't seen many of these, but I haven't seen anyone get them out of the box maybe there is i don't know but i haven't seen but i'm quite new to the dolly verse as um my regular viewers will know well I say i'm new to it i collected you know barbies and cindy's and things in my childhood and um and i did actually buy a barbie doll with my first wage packet when i was working when i left school a dentist uh barbie but i hadn't bought any since and then about nine years ago i started collecting a few second hand dolls just basically rescuing them and giving them a new lease alive but it's only really been since i started collecting the harry potter dolls the mattel harry potter dolls and then it's spiraled into barbie now so yeah i'm a full-on barbie collector so yeah and it's really exciting so i don't think i'm going to have the vast amount of dolls that i've seen a lot now i'm in that doll community i don't think i'm going to have that volume of dolls because obviously budget and space but um yes i'm going to be definitely picking up the uh the occasional doll that i like <laughs> so anyway so here she is and i'm going to get her right now there's a lovely bow here and there's a little flap this is so exciting i can see i've got somebody private messaging me on instagram it's a little distracting because <laughs> i'm filming this on my phone right I'm, I'm just taking it all for myself here just sitting there looking at her sometimes when you're sharing things on video you're missing out on <laughs> on it yourself so oh oh she is gorgeous right i'm gonna try and get her a bit closer for you to see she's stunning isn't she i'm but i'm going to debox her so i don't need to worry about getting this box really close to you so maybe i'll cut little bits out um if um you know there's a bit a few bit of boring bits now i'm just moving her little dress out of the way and uh, and i can see the doll stand is actually behind her can you see it there and i'm noticing see her dress there's little bits that are attached to the box so i am going to go very carefully and try and snip bits away so i might cut bits of video out so you're not bored but just watching me looking down doing things now i i'm going i've pulled the fabric away from the box just so oh now i've cut the one one thread away it was actually a thread the all the others have come free now I'm getting a bit of a glimpse of her shoes. Ooh. 
I'll show you in a moment. She doesn't have any undergarments, <laughs> I'm afraid. Now, the, the skirt is two layers, but I'll show you that more closely in a moment. I'll lift, it, I'll lift this up for you to see, actually, what I can see. So the dress has come away now, and I can see her lovely tanned legs and a little glimpse of her shoes. I will show you them up closely, and I'll even take photographs of what I'm showing you um, after and put it into the video. So if, sometimes if I watch it back and I think, well, you can't really see very well at all, I'll add a few um, shots in for you. Her shoes are gorgeous. I want these shoes for myself. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. She's got painted fingernails. I haven't looked at her toes yet. I think I've only got one doll with painted fingernails that came like it. And that was the pedicure doll, which is understandable, isn't it? So I've pulled her arms forward because her arms are free now and her legs are free now i'm just wondering if this insert will pop out yes it will right i'm going to get this out carefully right that's what i've done oh gosh the box is incredible let me just get rid of those plastic you could actually just reuse this box for anything really I could actually just stand her in it on her stand, hopefully, but I don't think that's the way I'm going to use this doll. I think I'm going to dress her up and things. Now, her certificate of auth authenticity. Am I saying that right? Rowan. <laughs> Rowan. I'm not speaking very well again. <laughs> She said, Rowan said I get the occasional word wrong when I was telling her that our, our, my English is worse than foreign people sometimes. And I uh, am English. Well, I'm more Irish, I've discovered. I, I used to say on this channel, I'm half Irish. I'm actually more Irish than English. But I was born in England and I've always, basically where the town I was born in, I still live in. But I, my father is Irish. And actually, I found there's Irish on my mum's side as well. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually more Irish than English <laughs> by blood. Right, this is a certificate. Now, I must admit, I have got, Vera Wang's got a certificate as well. And um, my signature Barbie that I showed you recently has got one, but I've never, I've never read them. But they're nice to have, aren't they? So, I'll pop that there. Now, there's all these little bits to pop out. Now, some of them, I've mentioned this before, I think it was it on Vera or the last doll, but you can fold them and then put them in. The only thing you've got to be careful of when you do this with dolls um, is that if you've got loads of little pieces, be very careful where you're doing it because they can drop out as you're doing it. So, and that has happened to me, and then I've had to go looking for them. Oh, oh, I can feel she's fallen onto my arm. Snipped away. Oh, she's out. So only the doll stand is attached. Oh, oh gosh, she's got all these plastic bits on there. Let me just pop her there a moment. And I'll get the, um, the doll stand out, because I might want to use that to show you. And the other bit is down here. Do you know what I didn't mention? Do you know the uh, signature Barbie, that, um, the Barbie style doll, the one that had all the awesome clothes that I've been giving to my mini, <laughs> my minis? Um, well, um, I didn't mention she came with a doll stand as well. And I'm actually using the doll stand that she came with at the moment. I've dressed her up in a figure skating outfit and she's holding a trophy and things. And I put a medal on her and she's actually on top of my fireplace in here. A fire I don't use, by the way. It's just like barricaded in with sewing machines. And she's standing next to the gymnast doll that I've dressed as a figure skater as well. And they're standing together with the little mini with the Chelsea figure skater and the doll basically uh, the first um ice skater doll I owned was a figure skating coach but she wasn't in anything exciting just a pair of leggings a top and but it was the ice skate and she came with a little 
tiny doll, smaller than Chelsea dolls, a small little figure skater. So basically I've got like, cause I ordered a second hand figure skating outfit, an official Barbie one from eBay. Um, I've got basically four figure skaters now. So one's my coach, one's supposed to be myself and um, a Chelsea figure skater and this little tiny figure skater that came with the coach. Now I'm a little bit worried about this now i want to get this stand out without ripping the box but i don't know how to do it i think what must have happened is they've put it in before while the side was unattached so bear with me bear with as they'd say in a comedy in england miranda I've got it out. I'm going to attempt putting this box back together. Right, I managed to do that without ripping anything. I've just that sellotape probably isn't going to work all that well anymore. But the only thing I've got sticking out is this piece that was holding her arm, which I've actually snipped into. So theoretically, if I hadn't cut those arm pieces. I probably could have put her back in the box properly, you know, to with within a certain reason, if you know what I'm saying. Right, I'll pop that in there. It might be nice to photograph her out, out of the box, um, like in front of this box, actually. So I might leave that insert out for now because it looks a lot messier than the inside of this, doesn't it? Actually, I thought about it um, after the Barbie style doll that I showed you. She came in a lovely marble box and that would have been a really nice thing to photograph her in front of that. But I might still do that, actually. Right, here we go. So I'm going to attempt getting all this off the back. Now, I'm going to bear with me. I'm going to get some plier, some little pliers and I'll be back. Right, and I normally use a little pink pair of pliers for getting these um, things at the back of the head. But um, these are a bigger pair that I've got. I couldn't find my little pink pair. They're probably on here somewhere, covered in dolls and things. But if you have a look at the back, look, there's these little pink tabs. I like to pull them out with pliers. So I'll try and get them as far down as I can. And then I'll give it a tug. So I've pulled that one off. I don't know how well that has done pulling it out of her head, actually. Yeah, I think they're just snapping off. What I'll do, I'm going to snip the other the remaining. There's two here. I'll attempt pulling those bits out of her head after. And there's, all, there's a piece of thread holding this plastic on, so... Oh, she feels like she's got quite a bit of product in her hair. But so I've unattached the plastic at there, but there's actually a bow um, as well, which I've got to undo. It's done in a double knot, so but it's not done too tight. It's manageable. Oh, well, I'm saying it's manageable. I'm quite nimble fingered. I know that um, you do get male doll collectors as well. And they, they might not have such small fingers as ladies to undo it. So, right, I'm going to do that back up for now. But I am going to be removing the outfit. So you can see her body properly. Right. Her hair does look a bit flat at the back from her being in the box. But, oh my goodness, look. She is lovely, isn't she? I'll try and give, show you her face. I'll just bend her legs a little bit and get a bit closer. So I could see her something shining on her face. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a strand of hair. But yeah, I'll have a look. But she's really pretty, isn't she? So that is the new mould. I think she's a very pretty doll. And see her earrings. I don't know if those would photograph very well, actually. So it's probably better that I show you on film. 
so uh, let's have a look at her, her face but it is the light is on that side so i'm going to turn her towards me yeah it looks like she's got something on her face that uh it looks almost like wet it does but um I might try and see if it will come off with a little bit of water with an earbud and yeah she's got basically on the left side of her she's got a, like a wet streak coming down all down her face right down to here and she's got a bit on the on the side here coming all down here so right I am going to I'm going to get an earbud and I'm going to bring some acetone in with me and um, I've got a glass of water that I was drinking I'm just going to use that so bear with me one moment but nurse Claire is back I've got uh, well we call them earbuds here um, but that's the I think in America they call them q-tips so <laughs> so yeah um, I, I learned that in later years and uh, I've got nail varnish remover from Boots, which contains acetone. And I've got some um, kitchen roll and I've got a glass of water. Actually, I might have a sip of it before I start dipping things in it. Oh, um, I have been stitching and things as well. I was going to show you other things in this video, but I think this video is going to be so long. It, I don't know if I'll be showing anything else. I don't know. Right. So, I've opened, actually, I was going to try the water. No, I'll put the lid back on. I'll try the water, water first, because it might not need anything as severe as that. So, I don't know if it's worked yet, because her face just looks wet. Well, thank goodness for that. No acetone needed, just a little bit of water seems to have done the trick. I'm thinking it might be hair product that maybe that, because if you have a look at her hair, her hair is very crispy. She's, she looks like, <laughs> do you know what she looks like? Do you know, say if you've had your hair done all nice, uh, it's like the hairdresser, then you've gone to bed on it and then you've slept on it. <laughs> but she has had to come she's had to travel a long way look at the curls look they've it's like they've been pressed inside a book yeah so i might have to do a little bit of tinkering with her hair um anyway so yeah i might end up taking all of this down shall i might shall i do it in this video <laughs> yeah this video is going on a lot actually isn't it so Oh, basically what I'll do is before I start doing, you know, what I'm going to do with her, I'll show you what she's like. And I'll show you her at the back. Now, you might not have seen her from the back because of people not taking them out of the boxes. But I think this is meant to be like um, the inspiration for this dress. I think it was, um, there were flowers from what I believe. I think this might have been like a carnation or something. So, um and look at those shoes <gasps> they are amazing aren't they they're so nice <gasps> wow <laughs> i love them right now she's got that bow at the back which i've done back up i will undo it and it basically you can see that it wraps around her waist oh oh it's come off altogether so you don't need to have that on actually if you don't want to i think that was just to hold her in the box so i'll just pull that down so it's quite um it's got like a waistband on it and then you've got a little bit of the uh, is it chiffon did i say before you get to the ruched bit here like i must admit i don't think if i was on a red carpet this would be what i wear wore I don't think I'd like, I would personally like all that bulk around my hips and then all this fullness down here. But yeah, but it does suppose it depends, doesn't it? So it's got press studs at the back. But that's me personally, you know, um, we all have our own taste. I think I prefer something a little bit more slim line. So, oh, she's <laughs> got a gorgeous tanned back. Do you, are you okay with dull nudity? 
because I don't think I've shown any dolls nude on my channel before. I don't know, will <laughs> my video get taken down? This is not for children, this, uh, this video. Right, now I've just taken um, it down at the front, right, round her shoulders, and I'm having trouble removing it. I think it's actually been glued. She's got like a bit of a sweetheart neckline going on here, and it feels like it's attached. So, bear with me. Do you know what it's like? Um, do you know that product that they were using in... Um, they, I heard they were using like at this tape in Baywatch on their swimwear. to you know, tip tape or something to stop, you know, things hanging out and this. So, yeah, I have managed to disattach that look and it's left a sticky residue on there. But I think that should come off. Right, let's let's get the old um, tip out again. Using the old nails as tools, you shouldn't do. Now, I've basically managed to really rub that off my finger. I think it's better to kind of get it a little bit warm. And then you kind of push it like this. Right. Yeah, I'll um I'll hide her modesty a little. So that's what she's like. So basically her right arm is like this. And her left arm is straight <laughs> is straight, right? Ooh, Barbie. She's beautiful, isn't she? She's really beautiful, doll. So, yeah. So, basically, she's got no articulation on the knees. But her legs, she's got one straight leg and one bent leg. Very beautiful, doll, isn't she? So, yeah. Right, I'm going <laughs> to pop her here for a moment. It'd be nice if she'd got undergarments. So you can see actually on the inside, look. She's got that sweetheart neckline layer. But it's all... A, I don't think you could unattach that from the dress. No, it's built in. It's... I can see that. Hang on. Shall I turn it inside out for you to see? So she's got on the outside... So basically the belt with a bow, all this ruching, and she's got these big puff sleeves. I'm not into big puff sleeves all that much either on on me. I'm not saying on dolls, but on me. Because I do dressmaking. Um, yeah, I can't... You can't, Well, even if you just buy clothes, you kind of figure out your style. Now, I've not popped the sleeves out. But I've just showed you showing you what it looks like on the inside it's got two layers it's got this layer of pink tool it's got the barbie label inside and then you can see that sweetheart neckline area which is attached at the waist it's not attached here and it's got a big collar as well i'm not into really massive collars either so really <laughs> this dress is not to my taste for for me to wear but for Barbie, it's pretty lovely, isn't it? It reminds me of the over-the-top um, bridesmaid dresses in the 80s. Because I was actually... I'd look, actually, I'll try and find a photograph from my mum. I was a bridesmaid when I was about... I think I was about... I was either three or five years old for my auntie. And, um, and my auntie's dress was very big sleeves. And my bridesmaid dress was this colour and it was very big on the sleeve and things so yeah i'll see if my mum's got any photographs and i actually had a um a, a ball of flowers to carry and uh i remember actually my cousin my uh yeah my cousin was a younger bridesmaid we had she had two little little bridesmaids and i was the older one of the two so uh she was being really silly and she was swinging these flowers around and i remember feeling quite annoyed because i was a little bit prim and prop you know little bridesmaid you know trying to do everything right and uh but this li little bridesmaid she was a bit younger and was getting it doing everything wrong and i was felt quite ashamed at the time <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so anyway, back to Barbie. And uh, yeah, well, she's gorgeous, isn't she? Right, we're going to have to get, get her in something else, aren't we? <laughs> she's just lovely. Oh, those shoes. She is incredible. What am I going to put on her? Have I got anything to hand? No, the only thing I've got to hand are probably like yoga Barbie clothes <laughs> I've taken off. I don't, I don't know how long this video is going to end up being. Right. I'm going to go and dip her hair in hot water. Are you ready to go on this journey with me? Right. Now, I'm just noticing, I, don't, I bet some of you are thinking this is criminal, just taking everything apart. There's some thread here that I've just... It was holding her, her curls in front. So, yeah, it's coming back now. She's basically, as it said, she's got a top knot, but it's really pinned down. There's a, like elastic uh, with all her extra hair coming around. So I want to obviously undo this, but I don't want to snip any hair away. Do you know what I might be quite good with this? Is a, um, a thread picker, you know, a quick and pick, seam ripper, you know, for sewing. Right, that's what I'm going to get, actually. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> right, I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to cut a bit out. <laughs> right, but to hide a modesty, I've just popped one of my handmade dresses on. Do you know the ones? That I don't sell this dress exactly on Etsy, but um, because this is my prototype and it's got outside stitching. My other one, it hasn't got any outside stitching. It's got a face in la-di-da. I've uh, overlocked the seams on the inside. But uh, yeah, I've, this is my prototype, but I've just popped it on her. She looks rather nice, doesn't she? I don't think the pink shoes go. But yeah, I've got my quick and pick. Right, it's the one that comes inside the sewing machine. I'm just picking an elastic off there. Actually, if you're a Barbie collector and you don't um and you don't have you don't sew, I do recommend these because they're quite good at getting at little things. Show that it, you know they're a bit more narrow than scissors. I'm just undoing that top knot. Now that's what her hair look, is looking like at the back, look. She's got, looks like she's going to have a middle part in. Actually, I didn't get those um, plastic bits out, did I? Right, I'm going to have a, I'm gonna have a tug at them. There's one. Two. Three. Oh. Four. I think a little bit of hair come with that one. <laughs> right. Yeah, she looks like she's got a bit of a parting going down the back of her head. If you can see there. I'm just trying to see what kind of coverage. I can't see any bald spots at the moment, which is good because you can get that with dolls. You wouldn't expect it at this uh, level of price would you really yeah so this is how she's looking hello it's all right i can cut it out jack you okay oh yeah i was just saying because um the uh, the gray one is, it was out this morning and she's still out now yeah i think she's no longer broody ready. ah she snapped out of it brilliant yeah, because she's still outside of the other she she dust bathing yeah so i'm pretty sure and she could be on my own breathe there but i don't think so because there are no eggs there so i think she's just dust bathing there. oh that's fantastic oh thanks for letting me know jack that's lovely <laughs> i don't know if i'll leave any of that in but my youngest son was just telling me that one of our chickens isn't broody anymore which we're really pleased about because it's always a bit of a worry when you get a broody, um, you know, that they're not looking after themselves. We always try and get her out every day and put her by her food and water. But yeah, you can have problems with broodies dying if you're not careful. So I haven't ever had a broody die, so we've always done a good job. But yeah, but he thinks she might have snapped out of it. So look at this. <laughs> Now, it does seem a shame I've got to dip her hair. 
because actually the bit on the top looks pretty good. Now I'm trying to see, does she have a part in? Right, if you will see what I'm doing here, I've got a knitting needle and I've just been moving bits of hair uh, some this way, some that way, just to kind of, so I can show you her parting. And uh, it's kind of, it's in the centre, exactly in the centre. I'll show you. It obviously looks a little bit messy because she's got loads of product. The hair is like cardboard. I look at the state of it now. <laughs> Sorry, Robert to doing this to your Barbie. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I've got one of those hot water dispensers that fills up just a cup of water and it only gets to like 97 degrees. It doesn't get to boiling, but I'm going to basically put the jug underneath it, put it on and I'm going to like dip her hair and um, and I'll show you the results of what happens. But um, yeah, I, don't, I think I can leave her clothes on and leave her earrings in. I wonder if, they're removable. I'm gonna let me tell you. Ah, so her earrings. Oh, there's thread on them. Now there is a piece of thread on this earring, so I'm sorry about that. I will need to remove it. So the way they've attached the earrings, the way it stabs in, that should be dangling fr front, so it looks visually good. And they they are removable. I've never removed earrings so far out of dolls because I've been a bit afraid they're going to have a bit that stops it. But that's come out and there's no thread on that one. Right, I'm going to dip her hair and I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> right, I'm back. And now I've dipped her hair once, right? And you can, I can feel the product has come out. Now, I haven't done anything crazy. I haven't shampooed. I haven't conditioned, which I could do. But I want to see if I can try and keep this curl in that she came with. So I just want to give her a little bit. This is a proper Barbie brush. This came with the the Sugar Plum Princess Barbie. I think she did. Unless it came with the, it might have came with a Barbie extra actually. Do you know the, uh, the blue haired one I showed you? Sometimes you forget um, which, doll things came with so that is how she's looking now her hair is soaking wet i'm gonna just hide her modesty a little bit and she's looking like that so uh i might give her a bit of a i think if you do want a hair to the side it could be done obviously the uh the parting isn't quite as dense as it would be if she had a middle part in but i have put it over to the side a little bit like that swoop it round she's a lot more glamorous than i am isn't she but um yeah she's got nice curls not um bed hair basically <laughs> And she's a nice, she's more, oh gosh, I'm high, I'm showing her body off, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, she looks like she's been on holiday. I, I'd probably go this colour if I, you know, went abroad, but I've got no plan, <laughs> near plans on going abroad. So yeah, so that is how she's looking. Uh, shall we, God, I'm going to put some different clothes on her, bear with me. Right, this is how she's looking at the moment. Her hair is still soaking wet. But I've put that dress on. That is the Barbie style dress that um you haven't seen on. I haven't actually put this on any of the dolls yet. But she looks really pretty in that dress, doesn't she? And uh, there is the leather. I was thinking she'll put the leather jacket on, but no, I'm not going to bother for now. And I'm going to pop her earrings back in. Let's just see which way round these should go because I think they are directional. Oh, wow. <laughs> she looks lovely, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, she looks absolutely stunning. So what I might do is I might take some photographs of her in this outfit. But she just looks lovely, doesn't she? With it, She looks like she's sun-kissed on holiday. She's She's been sitting on the beach in the day. She's gone and washed her hair and her makeup, put her earrings in and some fancy clothes. And she's off out for the evening. So, yeah. 
she looks absolutely beautiful so i'm really delighted with this doll and uh and i really hope you've enjoyed sharing my experience um opening this doll so actually i'll sh shall I show you one little thing i've made before i go so i have been doing some stitching maybe i'll include this in my stitch diaries as well but yes I knitted the jumper, the jumper that I was on about, and it ended up really, really huge. I said to my husband, it looks like uh, it's time of the month. She's feeling a bit sorry for herself and she just wants to cover up and hide. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'll do is I will chat to you more about that jumper in another video maybe another doll diaries another stitch diaries something like that and I'll show you where I got it from and uh, and I'll see and I'll let you know if I'm going to do another one and if I'm going to do any changes or anything so so thank you so much for joining me and unboxing this really exciting special Barbie of mine and I hope to see you uh, in and well please join me for another video so thank you bye <laughs> Thank you.